I'm Sabina Mazo. Um, I'm a martial artist from King's MMA. I'm 20 years old and um, I was born and raised in Colombia, Medellin. But I came here to California like three years ago to train here at King's MMA. By now, I have a fight coming up March 30th um, in UFC Philadelphia. It's going to be against uh, Marina Moros, so this is my first UFC fight. The, the feeling is the same for every fight. I always train hard for all of them. I just give the same importance. It doesn't mean um, against the opponent or, or event or anything. I feel like you can't underestimate those things. So I try to give my best every time for a fight. It doesn't matter where or against who, I always give my best in training and in fight. I feel like motivation for me is also being like uh, seeing the improvement of myself during training, how I feel, um, how can I see my game like evolve and like um, more than just like a fight. I feel like a fight I can show that to the world and like of course I want to fight and, and kill it over there. But at the same time, I feel a great motivation for me. It's just seeing like how my game evolves every time. Since I started training, I didn't have like a pressure. I have to be in certain age at this certain time in some place, you know? I just feel like I flow with the time, you know? I knew I was going for big things and I know that I'm going for big things, but um, I don't rush myself. Like, oh, I have to be in one year the year, you know? I just feel like I give my best and of course things are gonna start coming, blessings and opportunities. So for me, it's more like putting the hard work every day. For me, it's just like, keep working and working because I eventually will come. It doesn't matter sooner or later, but things will come. I I got to martial arts because I've been always like super active since I was young. I tried different sports. I tried um, many things from football to uh, tennis, everything, but nothing really like caught me, you know? And then I did my first boxing class ever in my life when I was 15 years old. And I fell in love with it. I loved it. And when I competed jujitsu and Muay Thai, I knew it was my thing. You know, it was just like passion right away. It was my thing. So um, it was not like certain person or something. It was just like me trying to find something I love and something I could spend time and uh, learn more about myself and about something else. And um, and yeah, and I found boxing and martial arts. Oh. You know, I feel like until I did my first MMA fight, I didn't thought it, that was going to be my whole life, my, my lifestyle. I love to train. I knew that I, I did it every day, like a job, you know, since the day one. But I never thought I was going to go like too into it. Like my life was going to be surrounded by MMA and, and being in the sport and everything. But yeah, since my first fight, I was like, this is what I love to do. and. Uh, and yeah, I did my second fight and decided to come here because of that. You know, I was like, OK, um, this is a time where I have to decide if I go to school or I stay here and keep like training and fighting or I move to uh, USA to to keep my career, you know, move to Kings MMA uh, or other part of the world. And I decided, you know, that was like the the point, like okay, what am I gonna do uh, the rest of, not the rest of my life, but what I'm gonna do from now on. To push. Yeah, as you push, I'm gonna go here. To our normal. Okay, and this arm, this it was a great transi transition from Colombia to here, different countries, like totally different. Um, but I knew the language, I had a purpose and I have a purpose here. So I was not like, oh, I'm going to live there and see what to do, you know, like I had a plan, you know, so that made it a little bit more easy, you know, and of course, since day one, I felt really comfortable um, here uh, at Kings MMA and like the country itself, I felt great, you know, so 
This kind of helped me to stay and like to really know what I was gonna do in my future. If I wouldn't feel comfortable, I don't know where I'd be at in this moment, you know? So um, definitely it was the best decision I made. And it was not hard, you know? Like a lot of people is like, oh no, your life changed. But I don't know, I just felt natural to be here and yeah, stayed. So the training at Kings, I love it. It's hardcore. <laughs> it's always like changing, like evolving. We're always like trying to see different things, uh, things that works for other fighters and adapt to our styles. You know, many, many different uh, people. And well, Master been in the sport since day one. He's a legend, and many people here are legends and know a lot from the sport. So that makes it uh, like a lot of fundamentals, a lot of, uh, um, I, I feel like it's a little bit different from other gyms. You know, I don't I don't have experience in other gyms, but I feel really um, good here. Like, it's not only like technique and that's it. No, like it's, it's more than that. Um, I like to be technical aggressive um, so both of those things sounds like weird how to combine but I feel like those are my my kind of style I want to 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 give fights that people enjoy you know they enjoy watching and like uh, putting techniques into it not I'm not saying boring fights, but like trying to be very technical, aggressive, you know, put my style into it, not like my soul. That people watch my fights and like, oh man, I really enjoy watching that fight. That's what I want people to, to start seeing in my fights. Great fights. I want to give amazing fights, you know. I want to step up in the division, of course, get the belt, but in the process, I just want to, to give it all and like show like the power we have at Kings. <laughs>